Okay, so if you just bought the bed install kit from Adventure Wagon for our Moab bed or our Monk Bunk system, you'll receive four vertical bracers that are orange like this, and then four pieces of corresponding L-Track as well. Um, the labels on those are going to be TX 1.5, TX 2, TX 3.5, and then TX 4. So the first one we're going to place here is TX 1.5. It's going to have a few of these little plastic pieces on the back. These are used as indexing points. It just helps you get, get it in the perfect spot, no guessing or measuring, anything like that. There are going to be two extra up here that you're not going to use. That gets integrated in with our full interior kit, so you don't have to worry about those. But the bottom two are going to index into factory holes in the van. So the first is going to be this one here. And then the second one is going to be this one right at the crest of the wheel well down here. And then to put it in, if you have a wheel well cover, you're going to want to just tuck it right behind the lip of that so it can sit flush on the skin of the van. So I set the bottom one first, get it into place. And then you want to get your wiring chase out of the way if it is in the way. Or your wiring harness, sorry. And then you want to pop the top one into place. And then it just sits all nice and flush like that. So once you have both those indexing points in those factory holes, you're going to want to set a couple set screws just to keep everything nice and tight when we move on to the next step. So there's a few pre-drilled holes that you can use for this. There's one here, um, right kind of below that TX 1.5 label. And then there's one down kind of like two thirds of the way down and then there's one right by our lower indexing point as well. So we're just going to set some screws in there just while we're setting our rib nuts and then we'll back them back out when we've got everything attached. Okay, so now that I have my set screws in, those as well as the indexing points are holding this piece really sturdy in place. So we can actually go through and pre-drill all of our rib nut holes. So there's one here, one here, one here, and then one all the way at the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and drill those out and then we can actually take the set screws out and take the piece totally out to get rid of any metal shavings that fell behind there, um, deeper, rust prevent, all that good stuff, and then put the piece back in place before we set our rib nuts. Okay, so now that I've drilled out all my 25 64th holes, I'm going to go ahead and deburr, rust prevent, and I'm actually going to take all the set screws out, remove the piece just to let any of those metal shavings from behind fall. Um, you can use an air tool or just brush them away, whatever works for you. And then we'll put the piece back in and then set all these rib nuts to really secure it in place. So I just re reinstalled my set screws. We'll take those out after we do the rib nuts. So I'm going to start with the rib nuts. I'm going to kind of start from this center one here and go up and then I'll do the bottom down. Okay, so we have all of our rib nuts set. One thing I do want to point out is the transit has some kind of differing thicknesses of metal throughout it. So you might have to play with the setting on your rib nut setter a little bit. Um, there was a couple that we had to drill out and reset because it didn't quite quite get in there right there's just kind of yeah it kind of varies throughout the van so you're gonna gonna kind of have to play with that until you get kind of hit the sweet stop spot in your tool so the next step we're gonna do is there's a series of smaller holes throughout this orange a-frame there's three at the top here and then some on the tabs as well so we're gonna do these in kind of a certain order so we're gonna do the top ones we can drill them all out at once but in terms of setting the actual rivets we're gonna do the top ones first then these bottom ones and then we're gonna do these these ones very last because you might have to take a rubber mallet or something like that depending on your van and just tap them so that they're making contact. So we're going to, these top ones for us in this van just have a tiny gap behind them. So we're going to make sure to set these last so that everything's really secure in place when we're kind of hitting the piece to make sure nothing else slips or slides while we're doing that. And I'm also going to take out the set screws after I've drilled out all these holes um, just so we can rust prevent behind there and they're not in the way anymore. Okay, so we have all of our 3 16 holes drilled out for our pop rivets. So instead of coating all the holes individually, I usually just put my the end of my pop rivet in my rust preventer. Preventer? Hmm. Um, and it coats it, and then that'll coat the hole inside of the hole really nicely. You don't have to mess around with the brush or anything, but either way works as long as um, all the exposed metal gets coated. I'm just going to pop this up here. So 
we have all of our other pop rivets set so I'm going to go ahead and do this top piece. As we kind of move things into place, we actually ended up not having to mallet that at all. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier, totally fine if you have to do that. Just leave that to last when you have this all, all nice and secure. But ours ended up, as we made the, the other attachments, pulled itself closer in and is nice and flush now. After we have the vertical support 1.5 set, we can move on to 1.2. This is going to be right against your D-pillar by your back doors. So this piece is also going to have some indexing points on the back to slot into those factory holes. So it's got one at the top and then one towards the bottom here. So in terms of where those line up on the van, there's one here near this top horizontal support and then there's one way towards the bottom down here. So I'm going to slot this into those holes. You might have to move your wiring up here a little bit. Okay, and this will sit really tight up against this back pillar. Okay, so once that's in place, it's actually going to hold itself pretty tight, but I'm still going to set a couple set screws just to keep anything from moving while I'm drilling out my holes. So I'm going to set one here, one here, and then one down here by my index point. Okay, so now that we have those three main set screws in, I'm going to go ahead and set a few more. And I want to take a moment to kind of point out that all these, there's a lot of these pre-drilled holes throughout the A-frame. And the idea is that you could put your whole A-frame up before drilling any holes or putting any rib nuts in to make sure you've got everything aligned really well. I just want to make sure to say that you want to take all those out. So there's, you, want, you can see the larger rib nut holes kind of going in a straight line where your track's going to bolt in. Any holes that look like they're in line with that or that the track would overlap, you don't want anything that sticks up. So that would be a set screw or a rivet. So you don't want to replace those holes with rivets or leave your set screws in. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's just, again, it's just to keep everything in place while you're kind of getting a feel for things or setting rib nuts, um, that sort of thing, but they'll all come out at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and place this one, this one, and then a couple at the bottom too, just to keep everything nice and tight. Now that we have all of our set screws in, I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill the holes for our rib nuts. I've got my 25 64 drill bit here, and we're just going to go ahead and pre-drill all those out. So I was down drilling this very last hole, and this D-ring was kind of interfering with the drill, so I'm just going to uninstall that with a 13 millimeter socket, um, and just to get it out of the way, and then we can reinstall it when we're all finished. Okay, so now that we have all of our holes drilled, I'm going to go ahead and deburr, recipe print, and clear all the metal shavings from behind, just like we did with the, the previous two pieces. Um, and then we can go reinstall the piece and set all our rib nuts. So before I pull out this piece to clear metal shavings, I'm just going to go through and mark behind these PEM nuts. Um, the right, it doesn't prevent the piece from sitting flush, but it will prevent the track bolts from threading all the way in. So on ours, this top one is fine. It has enough clearance behind, but all the rest, I'm just going to go through. You can use a punch or a pen, whatever you've got. I just use the end of a rivet here and just scratch up the surface behind here so we know where to drill out. Now that we've marked the holes behind those pen nuts, I'm going to go through with a step bit and just open them up. You can go pretty big with this. You don't want to go back, like have to be going back and opening back up after the piece is already set. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and deburr all those holes I just made. So there's four total of these holes that we had to open up in addition to the ones that we drilled for the rib nuts. So before I actually set any of the rib nuts, I'm gonna go through with one of our track bolts into each of these PEM nuts and just make sure I opened it up enough behind there. So now that I know that all those PEM nuts are opened up behind, I'm going to go ahead and deburr, breast prevent, and set all my rib nuts in this piece. So 
now that we've set our bracers on the driver's side, we're going to go over to the passenger side. These pieces are going to be pretty much identical um, and use the same indexing points, just a mirror image. So the first piece we're going to put in is TX 3.5. This is going to have those little plastic tabs on the back as well. So one right under the label here and then one way down at the bottom. So those are going to slip into two factory holes. One's going to be this one here. And then the second is, again, right kind of at the crest of the wheel well down here. So I'm going to pop that into place. You might have to slip it under the wheel well cover like we did on the other side. Perfect. So that's going to line it up exactly where you need it to be. I'm going to put some set screws in this piece to kind of keep it in place and then do the same exact process as the other side with drilling out my holes, um, setting my rivnuts, nuts, rivets, rust preventer, all that good stuff. So now we've got 3.5 all set and in place and we're going to move on to TX4. So again, this is going to be a mirror image to the other side. So it's still got those um, placement tabs here. So those two, one at the top, one at the bottom, and it's going to hug the, the edge of this D pillar here. One thing to remember is we have to drill out behind these PEM nuts, just like we did with that aft bracer. Um, but important to remember before you start setting rib nuts or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my set screws, pre-drill my holes, um, and then take everything out, clear the, clear the metal debris, set my, um, my rust preventative, and then move on to setting all my rivets and rib nuts. So now that we have TX 3.5 and TX 4 mounted, our bed install kit the, for bracing is totally installed. The only step after this is to mount your L-Track. They'll all be labeled with corresponding labels, so like 3.5, 4, 1.5, 2. And you just mount those with the M6 bolts and then you're set to go to install your bed.